On the streets of Tehran, more anti-government protests this weekend, despite a declaration from Iran's attorney general that the country's notorious morality police had been disbanded. Skepticism is rife. The attorney general does not control the force, and other top officials, including senior lawmakers and the country's foreign minister, have pointedly declined to confirm the move. In Iran, everything is moving forward well in the framework of democracy and freedom. In a sign of potential concessions to the protest movement, officials, including the attorney general, have suggested in recent days that laws over the country's strict dress code for women might be reviewed. President Ebrahim Raisi, a religious hardliner, appeared to point instead to softening enforcement. Iran's Republican and Islamic foundations are constitutionally entrenched, but there are methods of implementing the constitution that can be flexible. The morality police set off mass demonstrations in late September when 22-year-old Masa Amini died in its custody after being arrested for wearing her headscarf improperly. Its agents have been largely absent from the streets since protests began, replaced by riot police and the hardline pro-government Basij militia. And while the morality police may have been the spark, its abolition or even an end to the mandatory hijab would be unlikely to quench the flames of unrest. Most of the slogans are against the regime, uh, down with the dictatorship, down with the regime, and not anymore, only on the way. Indeed, protesters are trying to step up pressure on the country's theocratic rulers, calling for three days of general strike starting Monday.